so let's say we have this form where we are having these four fields employee id employee name designation and date of birth which are having some values and uh, on button of this click reset button we want these fields to be cleared out so generally what we will do is we will click on this button we will select on select property from here we select it and then what we will do is we will select reset and the name of the each of the field right just like this to say ext employee name open that up so that it is easy to do that reset txt designation <laughs> tdo okay and then if we run this again click on this reset it will reset these values to the default values but it's okay for the small size of form but let's say we are having so many fields and a very complex form then it is going to be a uh, very much tedious job to do so there is a shortcut how we can do that but there is a faster way to achieve this okay so in that particular case what we are going to do is in, on this resets button click event instead of having that many of resets combined in this on select method what we will do is we will set one variable that is set where reset and make it true true and again set it false like this and in each of the controls so there is a faster way to do that okay so now imagine there are a lot of controls on your page and it's a complex form so by putting every uh, reset command or reset functions for each of the control is very tedious and long job let me show you a faster way to achieve this okay so let me just go in this reset button again and uh, here what i will do is instead of adding these values i'm going to define one global variable that is reset function where reset variable reset and first i'm going to make it true and immediately in the next statement i'm going to make it false reset false and then what we want to do next is we want to set this variable reset to all these four controls so let me just go and select it from here reset and put this in yeah that's it now let's go and run this let's say employee id is emp002 seeker tpm and if the date i want to select let's say this one okay and let's say i am hitting the reset as you see it's work so this is the quicker way to achieve this part okay i hope you like this video thank you so much